Ashraya. Hi, Pratipti. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm doing really good. First of all, I would like to thank you for sparing your time for, to produce this interview. And we're extremely honored to actually have you um, uh, over here. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Always a pleasure. <laughs> so, um, so the first thing I would like to mention is a little bit about Claim to See. So I'm the founder and CEO of Claim to See Creations. Mm -hmm. So basically, I just want to let you know what we do and what our mission is. So Claim to See Creations is a social enterprise which I founded, which kind of brings about artists, you know, from all the walks of life into this online platform with it they can sell their art they can showcase their talent you know we've got street artists we've got other local artists wow. teachers we've got student artists we've got everyone in one place wow. selling affordable art for a cause and you know sometimes art is always about these aristocratic people original Absolutely. art is especially you know there are exorbitant prizes Absolutely. it's always these original art only aristocratic people these rich people can own it and mm -hmm. Common man, you know, where is the art for them? Mm -hmm. And many artists' um, voices are not recognized. Mm -hmm. So I think that was like the mission of Paint to See. And we, each and every proceed from like, you know, every painting sold on our website goes for the empowerment of the visually impaired kids belonging to a registered blind school located in Nishantapnam mm -hmm. and also to Spurs NGOs located in Hyderabad. Wow, that's amazing what you guys are doing. <laughs> no, it's such an honor to have you. So now coming to you, what is your story? We'd really like to know what your story is, what what you are and how is your journey you know, mm -hmm. uh, into art? Well, I was sighted uh, since 2008. So I used to do pencil sketches back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I lost my vision, I thought I gave up art work. But, mm -hmm. uh, I am working for LP Plus as I used to it and uh, for now like we come up with different kinds of initiatives for people who are blind and one of the initiatives was uh, to have a painting workshop so we had a, an organization called Anybody Can Paint they had come and uh, they had a workshop so the paintings created they were like you know the, the guy who the trainer um, he had uh, he drew uh, the outlines of uh, the paintings using a gun glue. So we, as visually impaired, we would you know peel the embossed uh, dried gun glue and then paint it inside those you know, within those uh, outlines. So that is how I, I thought. Oh my God! You know, even after losing eyesight, I'm able to use colors. So it, uh, kind of, I would say that was where the spark was lit. But then I didn't uh, pursue that because then I, you know, you needed somebody to draw it and then. You need a gun glue, and you know it was not very feasible. So I it was there in the back, uh, you know, I just left it behind. But in 2018, I had to painting gallery, state art gallery in Hyderabad. And when I went there, I realized that all paintings over there, you know, were two-dimensional. So for me, even the most beautiful painting looked to me as though it was just a plain white canvas. <laughs> so that is when I thought of doing something uh, for Vishnu Impair and. From my experience, I've seen that you know painting is something they don't do. Like there are very few painters across the world who do paint, but they use things like a walnut shell powder, or you know they mix it with color, and they use braille. But I wanted them to really enjoy uh, painting, and then I started exploring different ideas, and then I thought of three D painting. Why not I do three D painting? And that's how these paintings came up. It's amazing. I mean. This is like so in sync with what we were looking for. You know, we wanted to take tactile paintings to mm -hmm. the next level. We were searching for tactile artists, you know. Oh, because wow. sometimes um, there's like this um, interconnection between mm -hmm. education, art, and the visual impaired community. Mm -hmm. You know, like how do people, especially people who were born without sight, how do they get to know the world around them mm -hmm. if everything is in 2D? dimensional like let's take a small example of the solar system yeah the solar system in science you know it, uh, the planets they go mm -hmm. around the sun uh, how do they understand that concept if they don't have the tactile solution so they, in which you know they can feel and you know actually understand that so that's this is like phenomenal mm -hmm. <laughs> so um here's another small question how can other visually impaired people or artists make tactile paintings with tactile solutions what is their uh, what's the procedure and what is their solution? As 
as of now, you know, I've done a lot of research on interactive painting to see if anyone else does this kind of painting, the 3D paintings. Like I said earlier, there are artists like uh, there's a world renowned uh, blind painter called John Bramlett from the USA. Yes, yes. So he does uh, some paintings, but those are again, like I said, they use different textures for paint and then they paint it. But how do one, you know, do, because see, if I'm applying color, uh, somewhere on the like I apply color and then how do I actually touch it and re, you know continue applying from there? So exactly. it's a difficult task. So from my experience, I, I mean I don't know, but you know I think this is the like uh, I, I, this the tactile painting that I've done are like the three D ones. So for others to learn this, um, I have a like you know I keep doing workshops and I'm planning to do some more workshops in the future. And I want everybody to experience this. As of now, what I'm doing is because you know the virtual community is so big. So I have this, um, you know, some social media where I keep uh, posting uh, tutorials on how to like uh, simple lessons, like how do you sort out colors? Like as a blind person, you know, how do you sort out colors? Or how do you if there's say there's sky and there's uh, grass in the in the canvas in the background? How do you actually paint? You know the the different shape between the both the outlines how would you paint so these techniques i teach it in this uh, groups and pages so i'm hopefully thinking of doing some workshops and people can would be able to participate in that absolutely that is so critical for you know the people if they have a like a mentor like yeah. you, you know, who's <laughs> experienced in this whole field to actually teach them how to do it that would be absolutely wonderful what is the story behind these paintings? And also, we would like to know the story behind you um, and what's your inspiration, you know, yeah. and what's the significance of art in your life? Uh, well, I think for me, um, like back when, when I used to do uh, pencil sketching, it was more like expressing myself because it was a way where I could express my you know, emotions, get it out. So uh, that was you know, always there. And I felt, you know, it, it, it is like when I paint, I feel like I'm out of the world. I forget everything at that particular moment. Absolutely. And uh, I am engrossed in that. And the joy, uh, you know, uh, that I get uh, is to find, you know, at the end of, you know, once I've done the pencil sketching, it was absolutely out of the world. But uh, coming to the, uh, the 3D, the tactile paintings, I think uh, the inspiration is, you know, the um, the want, you know, the desire to make this available for people with, you know, vision impairment. Because um, our, when it comes to academics, they're excelling and athletics, they're excelling. But when it comes to, you know, art, especially painting, there's, you know, it, it, it almost seems like the doors are closed there and not many mm -hmm. people get to, get to experience that. Mm -hmm. So it was a motivation that made me want to uh, do this and as for these paintings here so on my paintings you know the themes I first think of them you know okay what do I want to paint now how do I want to express it so this these paintings I was thinking uh, somebody who was born blind you know of course uh, those who are late blind they would know how an underwater looks so I was thinking what about those who are you know born blind how will they like if, if I say tree they'll be able to you know because they must have touched yeah. how the tree is yeah. or you know a house or mountain they would have experienced you know it somewhere they would have climbed a mountain or they would have touched the waters but how about uh, people like you know how do they see the underwater so that's how the inspiration of this uh, painting came out it's called blue secrets so uh, and the, the treasure chesters like i used to watch a lot of cartoons as a kid <laughs> so you know the, the treasure chest is the pirate factor there so you can also see the cutlass you know it yes. says that it is the pirate's sword yes. and um, yeah and uh, coming to the other painting towards your side uh, that's called luminous and this painting is i think it's my fifth painting and i was just exploring to trying out different backgrounds like i didn't want it like both, both these paintings they have like two backgrounds so like one is a plain background for this there's water and the seabed uh, yeah. and for the other one there's a sky sea and I, I actually glued real sand there so it is just my exploration and, I, and I've never done a night painting so I thought why not uh, try a night painting so that's all uh, that's how they became reality. 
Wonderful, wonderful. And also in Fantasy, we've also launched the BMW range, which was the black and white range, which, you know, we gave just black and white paints to mm -hmm. five completely visually impaired small kids. Mm -hmm. And we asked them to paint whatever they felt. So oh. one person, she painted a trees. You know, oh, wow. she painted trees with the finger with her fingers and little dabs of paint. I would put paint on her finger, and she would just go and she would paint trees. Can you share a small little message, you know, for our viewers and for us? Absolutely. Yeah. I think you know uh, it is 2021 now, and you know when I look back at 2008, I was a youngster um, who wanted to get into films, and I had I was pursuing the course, and that's when uh, the brain tumor happened, and uh, following that. I lost my eyesight, hurting, smell, taste, and I was also heading for paralysis on my right knees. And on my bed, you know, when I was lying down, you know, completely disconnected with the world, I was lying down and I'm thinking, why me? And what did I do? Why me? You know, those questions were just, um, I was pondering with, those, with that question. And uh, today when I look back at that, uh, you know, if I was to think, why me? I don't think these paintings would be here. And I would have been just a, you know, uh, somebody who is working in IT, the typical IT or, you know, any other company, or I could have gone into filmmaking, but I don't know if I would have had the same joy. But today when I, you know, I, I look at it differently, it is more like, why not me? And if not me, who could do this? So that is my um, perspective on this. And I think that's the message for the viewers. Uh, Honestly, thank you so much for spending your time. My pleasure. And um, I'm very honored to be in company <laughs> of you. You're such an inspiration, not only to me, not only to paint to see, but to every single person. Um, you're so positive. It's such an amazing um, uh, thing. <laughs> so, but I think every person, you know, they will be inspired others. I mean, I'm just an instrument, but every person, you know, you imagine, you know, you opened up this way to see creations and then you're teaching other kids so you two are an inspiration thank i must so say much. thank you so much but for me thank you so much for being and partnering with paint to see we really thank you for all of your contributions and we wish you all the best for thank all you. your future endeavors thank you my pleasure